Hello YouTubers, in this video we're going to be talking about another easy GUI function called the button box. Uh, it does pretty much exactly what it says, what the name implies. It generates a dialog with a series of buttons uh, that you can specify the text for and then it returns a value based on uh, which button you click. Alright, so a very simple, we've already got our file started here just like uh, in the other video for the message box. We have our line here to tell Linux computers to run it with Python. We have imported the Easy GUI library in a way to where we do not have to pre uh, prefix all of the Easy GUI functions with the Easy GUI dot, and we've set a variable version to use for our title bar text. So in a button box, you just say button box. Uh, as with the other functions, you can either say message equals string, uh, and that will be the printed uh, message, or you can just start typing a string, and it will assume that this string uh, is going to be the message uh, in the dialog. So we're going to say choose a button, all right, comma space, title equals version. But in this one, we have another argument called choices. So we're going to say choices equals choices, and I'll tell you why. We're going to go right back up here and before it, and we're going to set another variable here. Choices equals bracket, and we're going to create a list of choices that are strings of text separated by commas. Now we could do that down here if we wanted to. However, I'll tell you why we're going to do it this way here in just a second. We're going to say choice one ice cream choice two soda pop choice three pizza and that should be enough fatty food for our own good now and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this button box as a variable so we're gonna say uh, button equals button box and then we're gonna say print well now we'll, we'll call it into a message box we'll integrate it with our last one we'll say message box and we'll say message equals button we'll go ahead and specify it that way since it's variable title equals version alright so what we should get is we should get asked all of these choices and then we should get a message box that tells us which one we chose. So we're going to say pick soda pop. And it tells us we picked choice two, soda pop. Now, let's say that you wanted to process this information, uh, what the user chose in this dialog. Uh, you could create an if statement, if button equals now at this point you could say if button is equivalent to choice or equal to choice one I and you could write the whole string out however because we have put them in an array up here we can use array addresses to make our if statements much shorter so we can if we we can say if button is equal to choices zero well let's do something different here just to avoid conflicts with variable names. We'll say uh, choices, we'll say options. Alright. Choices is equal to options. I don't know that that won't uh, conflict. So we can say if button is equal to options address 0, we're going to say button equals you chose ice cream and so now if we choose ice cream we should no longer just get a message box listing the exact string of text of the option we chose we should get a little message uh, telling us what we chose we're going to choose ice cream you chose ice cream now obviously you can use that information to do whatever you want to do. For this purpose, we're just creating a message box to give us some feedback so we know that we addressed it right. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and say elif button equivalent to options uh, button equals you chose soda pop. Elif button equivalent to options button equals you chose pizza and we're gonna say else button equals you didn't choose anything okay and so now we should be able to execute this file and no matter what we choose it'll give us a custom message of what we chose instead of just reiterating the string of text that's in the button um, let's give a fourth option so we have the option of choosing something other than those three since I did put an else statement in there and we'll say just cancel alright it could be anything so now we have choice one two three and cancel if we choose cancel we should get you didn't choose anything okay now that we have done this with our button box you also should, would probably like to know you can put images in your button box uh, I do believe they have to be GIF images so if you have an image that you want to put in your dialog box uh, it has to be converted to GIF format so it's not going to be uh, some high resolution graphics but it might help you out with well here we'll just we'll take uh, take a graphic from one of my little projects here we'll say check MD5 and you can see here we have a success.gif image put it in the same folder with the script and we're gonna say choice equals options image equals success.gif and then oh we forgot to make that a string my bad there we go and so now we have integrated some graphics into our little program here and when we make a choice it processes the the response from our button box to tell us or to to run the program that we told it to run when we click that button now like I said you can say if it is equal to this whole string and it will still work all right but it's just much easier to have it point to an array address have your options listed as a separate variable and that way you can go up here modify your options later and uh, not necessarily mess with some other options you may have uh, in your button box variable here uh, so that's the basic overview of the easy GUI button box uh, if you guys have any comments questions or concerns uh, or suggestions for future videos please post them below and I will uh, get to the comments as I can. Uh, as always, this is Garrowin out. Y'all have a good one.